Okay guys, this is Dave Wagner with Wags Automotive in Kansas City. And I'm here with Ben and Katrina in Ottumwa, Iowa. And this is a 65 Dodge Polaro that I used to own. I actually rescued two of these. Uh, this one here actually came out of a junkyard in Omaha, Nebraska. They were going to crush it. And I convinced them to sell it to me. It had been sitting in storage for 20 years. And the guy died. And he uh, they couldn't find a title for it. But I bought it, and I uh, was able to get a title for it, so not a big deal. Um, and then I found another one sitting in the field that had been rotting away since the 80s, and I bought it, and I bought it because this one here had uh, a bent fender on the passenger side and a bent door, and the blue one had good door and good fender. And as you can see, Ben and Katrina have put the blue fender and the blue door on the white car. So we're going to take a look at it. He's going to show me what he's done. So, uh, anyhow, let's start out with, so Ben, tell me, uh, where you, where'd you get these wheels at? Where are they from? Uh, a friend of mine had these, uh, he was going to put on a 37 Chevy Coupe, uh -huh. rat rod, and, uh, they weren't going to fit with his brakes, so I bought them from him. Okay, are they, uh, what brand are they, do you know? They are old ETs. ETs. Yep. All right. Uh, 14 7 front and a 15 eight and a half rear. That's cool. You hear that, guys? 14's on the front, 15's on the back. That was the thing to do back then. Very, very popular thing to do back then. So anyhow, he's fixed her up a little bit. Let's take a look at the interior. So it's it's still a little rough, but that's how they do back then. You know, I mean, the car's almost 60 years old, pretty close. But as you can see. The dash is really nice. That's one reason, one reason I kept this car, because the dash is beautiful. Even the headliner, it just looks gorgeous. I mean, this car is just really clean. The door panels are nice. It needs the seats recovered, but even the carpet isn't bad. I mean, it's 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 faded out a little bit, but I'm sure Ben's going to end up putting new carpet in it one of these days and probably get the seats redone too, you know. But it's looking pretty good. All right, Ben, so you rebuilt the brakes, and you yep. said you rebuilt the motor and the transmission, right? Yes. And your wife, Katrina, helped put that engine in. Is that right? She did, yep. Yeah? Did you get to hear it start up, Katrina? Was you there for the first start? I don't think I was. No? no. no. Oh, well, that's too bad. All right, let's pop the hood and take a look at it underneath the hood here. Let's see what we got. Wow, look at that, guys. That's pretty. So he's rebuilt this engine. He re-rung it, new bearings, and put a four-barrel intake on it. It looks like I got a Edelbrock, Edelbrock 600. 600 carburetor, little Edelbrock air cleaner. It's got a nice uh, high performance ignition system on it. Still got the log manifolds, but he's I think he's planning on putting headers on it down the road. And it's got brand new exhaust too that was put on by Fred's Muffler. If you guys remember my uh, Matador, I uh, took it to Fred's Muffler in Oskaloosa and had him put the exhaust on. And I recommended Fred to Ben, and Ben took this car up to Fred and uh, had Fred put the exhaust on it so there's a it's a 383 magnum right ben yes so it's a 383 magnum got plenty of power and looks real nice did a good job on it you know but she's a little rough but he gets looks and smiles everywhere he goes and uh you know he's proud to drive it so it's a cool car let's do a walk around here real quick this side here looks real nice it's got a little bit of rust a little bit of patina i guess you call it but patina cars are in the end thing now so you know Nothing wrong with taking a car that's been sitting for a while and getting her back on the road, getting her driving. Sure beats that iron they sell today because it ain't nothing like this. You won't ever see a car like this again. And Polaris are kind of few and far between. They're not, not very popular, but this is a two-door, as you can see. So, you know, it's in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of cancer in it, but I'm sure eventually Ben's going to fix all that. That's, that's just a little bit of welding there. So, and Ben and his wife offered to take me for a ride. So, how about if we fire it up, Ben? Let's see. Let's hear what that. Yeah. Let's hear what that engine sounds like. Then we'll go in the back and hear what that exhaust sounds like. All right, he's gonna fire it up here for us. Oh yeah, runs nice and smooth. Nice smooth idle. Give her a little bit of gas, man. Just a little bit. Let's hear what she sounds like. Yeah, that sounds good. Look at that, guys. He even custom made his uh, throttle linkage. Braised it together. Sometimes it's what you got to do. You got to 
you gotta fabricate your own stuff if you don't have it. So that's what the that's what the guys do. That's what we do. All right, let's go out back. Here, this brand new exhaust. What kind of mufflers you got on it, Ben? Uh, they are AP accelerators. AP accelerators. Are they a yeah. turbo type muffler or a glass pack type? They're uh, like a magna flow. Flow straight through. through. Yep. Okay. All right, let's go back here and hear what she sounds like. All right, Ben, give her a little bit of gas. Let's hear it. Oh yeah, that sounds healthy. I like that. All right, let's go for a little cruise. If you want to sit up front, Katrina, I won't bite you, I promise. <laughs> I'll sit in the back. All right, that's up to you. All right, we're gonna go for a little cruise just like we did in my brother's Camaro. Oh, you got a uh, digital radio in there? Retro sound. Retro sound. Wow, look at that. that. That looks like the original radio, except it's obviously not because it's LED or, or digital, I should say. Is that just a, a head unit or does it, does it have a, a remote a CD player or no, anything? No, just the head unit. Just the head uh, unit. Bluetooth okay. and then an AM, FM. Uh, I've got retro sound 4x10 in the dash. Okay. And two kicker six by nines in the rear dash and a 10 inch kicker in the trunk okay and you got a uh i guess you got an amp yes yeah how many watts is it uh it's like 250 it's it's oh. not enough yet not enough okay. yet huh you gotta get like a four six hundred yeah <laughs> yeah cool nothing like rocking out oh i gotta show you guys this i'm gonna reach over here check this out this ben told me that He's had this tack for how long? I don't even remember, probably 15, 20 years. 15 or 20 years he's been saving it, and look where it's at, it's right here in this Polaris. Ain't that cool? That's a that's an old school tack right there, man. You never see one like that. So that's cool. I love the dash on this car, it's just beautiful. You just don't see this stuff anymore. I mean, it's just so nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. Still needs a little bit of front end work. Yep. Yeah, probably needs uh, some ball joints and some bushings and things like that. Definitely How many miles bushings. is on this thing? Uh, don't even know. <laughs> but what's it say? It says 9,088. Oh, so okay. probably 109. So it's probably 109,000, but, you know, she's been driven and used and, and enjoyed, and now she's being driven and used and enjoyed again. So there ain't nothing wrong with that. So Ben's telling me that uh, it needs a... A baffle in the oil pan because when he gets on it, it loses oil pressure. So I can't promise you guys he's going to get on it today. I can't blame him. He just rebuilt that engine. He didn't want to tear it up. But you know, this is a cruising car. He gets looks everywhere he goes. He gets people giving him thumbs up. You know, you take these old cars out of a field and or out of a junkyard in this case, and you do a little work on them, get them back on the road again, and drive them around. Everybody loves it. It's the thing to do. Got a set of triple gauges down there, you can see them. Kinda, it's kinda dark kinda. down there. Kinda hard to see him. But anyhow, keeps an eye on his vitals. Doesn't want anything to happen to this motor. <laughs> so what's your what's your big plans, Ben? What's your what's your next big thing on this? Uh rear quarters, probably. Yeah, you know you could buy those, right? Yes. Yeah. You gonna do them yourself or? Probably. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I can cut it right at the seam where the trim is at. Right. And uh, probably hide my crappy bodywork. There you go. Are you gonna try to paint it yourself too, or? I I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> I, I do have a friend that does sheet metal work on on Mopars. There you and, go. Uh, so he's gonna. Help does he do paint that. work too? He does not. Uh oh. So. So you gotta find a painter, huh? Yep. Yeah, well, you never know. You watch some videos on YouTube, you might get brave enough to paint it yourself. There's a lot of stuff on there how to do it, I know that. So what do you think, Katrina? You like this car? I love this car. Yeah? You guys got kids? Yeah, we have a 10-year-old girl. She yeah. loves it, too. Yeah, she loves it, too? She's proud to go cruising with mom and dad, is she? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yep. It's good to get the young crowd into these old cars, because you don't... You don't uh, Get a lot of people interested in them that are younger anymore. 
You plan on putting air conditioning in a van? Or? I am. I was supposed to meet a guy last weekend, and I ended up with the flu. Yeah. Um, he's got all the stuff from the firewall forward that I need, and uh, yeah, he's donating it. So that's pretty awesome. The the blue one I sold you wasn't it an AC car? No. 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 I thought it was. Okay. Well, I couldn't remember. I actually uh, I stole the pulleys off of that to make this one run with the regular non-AC pulleys. Yeah, okay. So how soon are you going to get the AC at, you think? Uh, I don't know. We've got to schedule a time to meet up with the, with the guy. The guy is from, uh, he's from Minnesota. Oh, wow. I met him on the Seabody Forum. Maybe when you go to the Sea by Nationals, he'll be there. Well, he's not going this year. Oh, that sucks. So we've talked about meeting at Waterloo or something sometime. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Of course, in the meantime, you got the the vent window air conditioning, and actually, that works pretty good. It does. I loved uh, I love the fact that they put vent windows in cars. I think in '68s when they stopped putting them in cars, because I know the '67s got them, but. Uh, I love the vent windows. They're nice on a day like today. It's about 85, 90 degrees today, but we're pretty comfortable driving down the road here. So it ain't bad, but you already got the vents in the dash, so add a couple more. Well, you got these two. Maybe, oh, this car was a factory air, wasn't it? This was, yeah. Okay, that's right. I knew one of the two was. Yeah, this car was factory air. Hell yeah, there's the, hello, Dave. There's the AC button right there. <laughs> Katrina's back there laughing at me. She's like, what a dork. Yeah, I know. Well, sometimes it happens, but. That's another thing I fixed. I rebuilt the rebuilt the vacuum switches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you have to put like seals in them or? Uh, actually, I just had to repair the vacuum nipples on the backside. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, I think we're on the road. Is there a Dairy Queen on this road, up the road about two, a couple miles? You know? I think so. So if you go past the Dairy Queen about another three or four blocks, there's a guy there that owns a tent shop. And he tented the windows oh. on my Matador. Booten. And he did a really good job. Yeah. yeah, what's it called? Booten's World. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but he Brand, Brandy Booten. He does good work. Yeah, he charged me like 300 bucks to do the whole car, including the vent windows. Yeah. So you need to take it him and have him put some put some nice and he, he did a, a six inch strip across the windshield too so yeah that's that uh that's a good place to go to get your windows tinted something else you need to do that'll help that'll help in the summertime heat too yeah. keep the keep it cool well, that's kind of unusual you got a car that's got ac but it's also got the vents you can see the vent levers there usually you don't have the vent levers if you got ac but this one's got both so even if you don't want to run the ac you can pull the vents out and you can see them down there in the kick panels both sides one over there by ben's sexy knee <laughs> <laughs> not yep well it's a nice running car ben i like the way it sounds i'm glad to see it on the road it's exciting very cool so you're gonna paint it back white, you think, or? Uh, I uh, don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What are you thinking? We're actually thinking of turquoise, a gold, purple, <laughs> gold, gold. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, you know what you gotta do? Maybe you gotta do gold with a white top. That'd be pretty nice. That'd be beautiful because this thing with the uh, creases in the top, it kind of looks like it's got a convertible, even though it isn't. Yeah. So if you put a white top on it, people would be like, "Man, is that a convertible or isn't it? I can't tell." Yeah, that'd be cool, but you know. Gold would be cool too. Kind of match the interior. Yeah. You uh, what's your plans for the seats? You got anybody found anybody that's gonna uh, do got, those for yeah, you? Yeah, I've got two people. That's probably gonna be a winter project. Yeah, there you uh, go. My my wallet took a pretty big ding with ding with the uh, engine rebuild, engine and uh, yeah. transmission stuff and leaf springs and right. Did you put air shocks on this or? I did on the rear. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just look at the headliner on this thing, guys. This headliner is just... That's one reason why I saved this car. I mean, it's hard to find cars like this that are in this good of shape. This headliner is almost perfect. Matter of fact, I think it is perfect. I don't see a hole in it anywhere. No. Beautiful. Beautiful car. Just enjoy riding in them. I don't 
if you guys can hear that, but there's a little bit of a sound from the engine. Got that low rumble. Sounds pretty good. I like it. Well, Ben, you've done a good job. I'm proud of you. Thank I'm glad you. that somebody took one of my cars that I didn't have time for and got her on the road again. That's what I'm that's what I like to do. See this stuff back on the road, cruising around, see people enjoying it. Well, I does he let you does he let you drive it, Katrina? I think I drove it once. Once? One time. Well, man, you got to take over, girl. You got to get your own set of keys and just disappear one day. Yeah. Say, hey, he'll come out and be like, where's my car? <laughs> Trina's like texting him. Uh, I went for a cruise. So I'll be back later. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, it's a nice car. I love it, man. Glad to see it back on the road. This thing have, no, it does not have power brakes. You going to no. put power brakes on it? I'm probably going to do power drums. Just leave the drums. Right. Because they're not horrible. Right. Yeah. It, it's it's definitely a uh, change driving a modern car and getting in this yeah, thing though. Yeah. You gotta you gotta look, give yourself a little more stopping distance. <laughs> yeah. Make make it be aware of what's in front of you and make sure you got plenty of time to slow down. But yeah, my, I've got a my D100 is manual brakes also, so I'm oh, really? kind of used to it. Yeah. And that's got like a hot rod 440 in it, doesn't it? No, it's a slant six. Oh, okay. Yeah. You gonna put a hot rod 440 in it? I've got a 360 on the engine stand right now with Edelbrock heads. Oh, and, there you go. That's yeah. A, what year is your D100? Uh, 78. Okay. Short box. Oh, look at this. Here's a, if you guys can see this, we'll drive by him. There's a, probably a 68 SS Camaro. Nice. Beautiful car. Yes, sir. Do the old hot rod wave when you go by. So you got plans for headers too or eventually eventually yeah i'll give you a little insight on that i know a place you can get them pretty cheap uh oh i'll tell you when we're done videoing <laughs> all right i'll show you when we're done videoing how's that i wish i would have bought them to begin with i have about uh i have almost a hundred dollars in in uh having the prep work done on these the surface work done. Oh yeah. To get them to get them resurfaced and flat. Cleaned up enough that they would seal. Yeah. Yeah, it's not cheap. I sandblasted them and coated them with. Uh, I saw a video on YouTube uh, using. stuff it's for spraying in locks not silicone spray no <laughs> talk about ceramic no graphite graphite yep graphite spray in a can oh coat yeah them, you coat them with that and where do you uh, get that at any o'reilly's or anything like that hmm yeah, I saw how nice they looked, so I guess the sticks were pretty well. It must yeah, be it looks, high heat. Yeah, and it looks like factory cast. Um, and you can coat them. You can coat them on the car. Once once the stuff wears off, you can coat them on the car and not okay. have paint over spray. And I think wow. they look pretty good. Yeah. Well, that works pretty well for now, anyhow. Yeah. The nice thing about the manifolds is they're reliable. Yes. Yeah, they're not going to rust out like headers do, but headers give you a little more power and they look cool. So, you know, as long as you take care of them, they'll last you a while. 
in a car like this, you don't drive it every day. You don't drive it in bad weather, so shouldn't be too big of a deal. RPMs there sounded pretty good. Pulls nice and strong. I just helped my brother put a 500 horsepower 427 in a 67 Camaro RSSS. Oh, it's a GM crate motor. But of course they cost about 12 grand. So <laughs> it's a beast though. But yeah, it's it's uh he, he hasn't even broken in yet, but it's definitely a runner. He put a uh Tremec five speed in it. So yeah, once it gets it broken, it's gonna run pretty good. Yeah, here's a what is this, a 60 Three Impala, it looks like. Yep, 63 Impala. There you go. That's a pretty car. I, I had several 64s. I never had a 63. I had a 64 SS one time. All right, guys. I think we're back, almost back at the donut shop now. Oh, man, I want that big boy dude right there. I wonder if they'd sell him to me. Put that in my front yard. Check that out, guys. It's a big boy guy. Hey, big boy. <laughs> you young guys probably don't, know, don't even know what big boy is. It's a burger place. All right, well, we're back at the donut shop, and our cruise is over. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And here's another one that was destined to be crushed, and I saved it. And now it's back on the road thanks to Ben and Katrina. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Like and subscribe to my channel if you want to. Like I always say, I'm not in this to become famous. I just like doing it. And I'm glad I can. And I'm glad I can help other people get cars they like and, and uh, fix them up and drive them and enjoy them. So, Ben, thank you for the ride. I thanks, appreciate Dave. it. Katrina, thank you for riding along with us. Nice meeting you. And I enjoyed this time with you guys. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.